everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon with Main Street and Beyond Travel Company and today we are checking in to the Art of Animation and I'm really excited because we are going to be staying in the Cars Family Suite. Now these hold up to six adults. Um, Art of Animation is known for their family suites. They also have Finding Nemo Family Suites as well as Lion King. They also have Little Mermaid Standard Rooms which just hold up to for adults. So we're going to be giving you a tour of our family suite of the whole resort. We're going to be looking at pools, food, shopping, the Skyliner, walking times to the bus station and more. So let's get started. Alright, I came back outside after I just did my intro because we just had checked in um, before we head to our family suite to show you all. But I want to show you guys just how fun this resort is. Like kids love this resort because there are Disney characters everywhere. Um, when you walk inside they're all, these art sketches are up on the wall from previous animators when they were drawing um, all the characters. And it's just such a fun resort. Kids love it. But let's go to our room. All right, well, welcome everyone to our Cars Family Suite. I'm so excited because like I said, I've never stayed in one of these family suites before, um, but they hold up to six adults, which is great. So the first um, adults can sleep here. It simply pulls down, I've never done this before, so we're gonna see how easy it is. Obviously, you have to slide these chairs out of the way. Actually, let's go ahead and do that because it looks pretty cool. We have a huge bed coming down. Caroline, you want to get those chairs? Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to show you guys because it looks actually super cute. So look at that. Just like that. And then you've got your bed. You've got Tomater up here sleeping. It looks like you've got, oh nice, some little lights. You do have these adorable little drawers over here that look like the toolbox drawers, which are super, super cute. So that's easy. Let's see how easy it is to put back up. That's gonna come down. Hopefully not. All right, let's make our way back into the living room over here. So another area where you can sleep another two adults because this will pull out into a full bed. Uh, I'm not sure how to do it. I feel like this one will be a little bit more difficult than that one, so I'm gonna leave that be for now. Um, you have these cute little cone lamps over here. Uh, we do have an excellent view of the cars pool. Hey, look, it's mom. <laughs> There's my mom. Um, these little cozy cones out here are actually cabanas you can rent for the day, which are really cute. Um, we have a little kitchen area, which is really nice. They've got a nice little fridge for you. These do have a microwave. Microwave, sometimes you can't find um, Disney resorts anymore with a microwave. We stayed at the Caribbean beach before that didn't have a microwave. Um, I, can't, I don't think Coronado Springs did either. So microwave inside Art of Animation, a little sink area, and then we'll swap around here. Another giant toolbox. So if you guys need to store some clothes, plenty of plenty of storage in these family suites, it seems like, which is really nice. And also another little area to hang clothes should anyone need it. Now one of the things I love about these family suites is they have two full bathrooms, which is perfect for a family on vacation so you guys can get ready in two separate areas in the morning. That way you're not waiting on everybody and you can get out the door, get into the park right when they open. So first bathroom's here. Um, what's nice is there's also a split bathroom. <laughs> and so we have this cute little vanity area where you can get ready while somebody else can be in the shower, going to the bathroom, and just look at the curtain. Look at how cute it is. Everything is so cute and cars themed. And I just noticed this too, the tiles are like the tiles that like, um, I don't know, like a mechanic shop. They've got that little gritty thing on them. That's kind of <laughs> cool. I didn't even notice that when we first came in. All right, let's go show you the next area. So this is, a completely separate bedroom. It's got a large queen bed, big TV. Again, the adorable little cozy cone lamps over there. Still a beautiful view of the pool from out here. This room is great for any adults coming in. So let's say you're a family of six and it's two adults, two kids, and then the grandparents are coming with. Grandparents can bunk in here. 
kids and parents can be out in their own separate area or however everybody wants to do it. It's great. That's why I love these family suites. They're very built for multi-generational families coming to Disney World. So, uh, next full bathroom. Really, really nice walk-in shower, nice and large. It's got some cute little suds to make it look like a car wash on the thing. Um, because up here on the mirror, it says car wash. So again, just super, super cute. Plenty of room for everybody. Like I said, these are great for larger families if you don't want to spend money buying two separate rooms at one of the other value resorts because the only other value resort that will hold six is All Star Music and that is closed still right now. We don't have an opening date for that yet. So if you have a larger family, you're either going to have to stay here, you're going to have to upgrade to a better hotel like a moderate or a deluxe, or you're going to have to buy two rooms at another value. So this is a great, great option staying here in these family suites. But I want to go ahead and show you guys the rest of the resort. So let's head outside. Hey, you guys can see in these hallways here, they're also lined with tons of cute little pictures from the movies. I'm assuming the other ones look the same, but we'll check those out too. All right, this is what the outside of our building looks like. We are in building three in the cars area. You can see it's the little Casa de la Tires part over here. This other building over here I believe is the Wheel Well Motel. And then over here is like a Tomater theme. So super super cute little theming here in the cars area. Uh, let's go show you guys a little bit closer look at the pool here. Alright you guys can see kind of a bigger overview here of the cars area. It's so cool because the theming kind of fits like the desert vibes like the plants are all like inside the rocks. They've got the weedy look to them, the rocks out here. So Disney does such a good job with all their theming. They do have these super cute little cars everywhere for people to take pictures with. Just make sure you're not climbing on them. You're not supposed to be doing that, um, especially right now with COVID and everything. But it's so, so cute. Let's keep exploring. Okay, I got a little distracted taking some cute pictures myself with those things. I will insert some here. I want to still show you guys the pool area. I love this. Just look at how nice. It's a cute little like half U-shaped pool. Um, not getting the cars reference, but let me know in the comments below if you can figure it out. But look at how adorable this is. It's just a perfect little quiet pool if you're staying in the cars area. But you can use it no matter which area you're staying in at the hotel. All right, so that's just a quick little overview of the cars area. We're now going to head to the Finding Nemo area. All right, heading out of the cars area here, you walk by the drop-off, which is the pool bar here. I think we can keep heading this way. Don't worry, we'll come back here later. I'm gonna try some stuff for you guys. We're gonna keep heading this way. Over here to the left is our big blue pool. It is one of the largest and voted one of the best pools on Disney property in this Finding Nemo area. It is so cute, it's so big for all the kids to enjoy. So fun, you've got jellies, you've got Finding Nemo way off there in the distance. Just a great, great pool here. And again, this is in the Finding Nemo area. This is the main pool, but you can still use that Cars pool. The Lion King area does not have its own pool, but the Little Mermaid section does. So this is what the pool looks like here at Art of Animation. All right, we're currently walking past some of these super cute, super adorable Finding Nemo family suites. Now, these ones are going to run you up a little bit more money. That is because they're right by this main big pool. They're brand like new refurbished. So they've got like hardwood floors. They've got all this nice stuff in them, very modern appliances. And they are also near the Skyliner and the main lobby. So these will cost you maybe about $100 more per night to stay in this Finding Nemo section, but it's worth it and it's so cute another cute little area is off to the left here it's like a little playground for children it's super cute they've got little slides and there's a little squirt up there yeah really really cute we are heading through the Finding Nemo section because you have to walk through Finding Nemo in order to get to the Skyliner station which I don't know if you can see it is right over here but we're gonna catch up when we get over there it's like maybe a two minute walk all right, well, welcome to Disney's newest mode of transportation, their Skyliner station, which serves the Art of Animation in the Pop Century, which I'll show you in just a second. It's right next to the Art of Animation. 
you get on this Skyliner um, station here, it's going to take you over to the Caribbean Beach, which is a moderate resort on Disney's property. This is considered like the hub of the Skyliner station, so once you get there, you'll get off the Skyliner and either get on the one for Hollywood Studios or the one for Epcot. So this will take you to both those parks. If you are wanting to go to Magic Kingdom or Epcot, or I'm sorry, Animal Kingdom, you will have to take the Disney bus system, but we're going to show you what a little Skyliner ride looks like here. And just for an update, the walk from our building in the cars room to over here was maybe like four minutes at most, so not a long walk at all to get on the Skyliner. All right, like I said, as we're walking to go get on the Skyliner here, over there is Disney's Pop Century Resort. Again, very, very close to Art of Animation. If you're staying at one or the other, you can walk between the two in just a few minutes. So let's get on the Skyliner. All right, as you guys can see, we are on the Skyliner right now. Here's another part. This is the Little Mermaid section over here of the Art of Animation. We are almost to the, oh, it's getting bumpy, the Caribbean Beach. Um, hub, so not at all. It maybe took two minutes on the Skyliner to get over here, so not bad. I do want to point out way over there, way in the distance, are those Little Mermaid standard rooms. It looks like it would be about a seven to eight minute walk over to the Skyliner station or to the buses from those rooms over there because they are pretty far. Like we have the Lion King family suites over here, Finding Nemo section here, and Cars is just right over here, so they are very far out there for those Little Mermaid standard rooms. All right, so here again, we just walked from the Skyliner back through the Finding Nemo section, and we hooked a right to go into the Lion King family suite area. So let's go check this area out. Just to kind of show you guys an overall map of the resort, right? Here was our check-in area, Animation Hall. Here is the Finding Nemo area, buildings five and four. Here's the big blue pool. Skyliner Station right up here. We are over in the cars area. We're currently in building three with a pool view room. Um, over here is the Lion King section we're about to go through and tour. And then from on there is the Little Mermaid section. Um, the buses are going to be all the way back over here by the animation hall. So there's a little path that goes from the Little Mermaid section and Lion King over to the buses probably looks like maybe about a five six minute walk probably not too too bad same thing with the Skyliner they show you the paths you can walk um not looking too bad so like I said Disney sticks to that good theming now that we're over in the Lion King area we've got more of a jungle savanna type vibe more trees more lush vegetation you've got a giant Simba up here who is welcoming us into the Lion King section. It's super cute. Like I said, these areas are adorable for you guys coming with your kids for them to take pictures with all the cute little Disney animation statues that are everywhere. You can see over here we're coming up on baby Simba, Pumbaa, and Timon. Oh no, we have seemed to run into some of the hyenas from the Lion King movie out here. What do we do guys? Ah, run! <laughs> Oh no, and there's Scar. Ah. Scar's up on the rock over there. What do we do? <laughs> Look at that crazy one. <laughs> that must be the crazy Ed. All right, so I don't want to spend too much time in here because we're not in this building, but you can see they have the little Lion King paintings in here as well. Of course, elevators to take you up to the fourth floor if you're staying up there. Let's see what's around the corner. Not too much. They do have some vending if you need late night snack and some ice. You can see here we have the dingle hopper. You also have all the cute decorations on the room. Little clay. Treasure chest, Prince Eric up ahead. Woo woo. And then you've got a big Ursula. You've got a big King Triton. So again, another great little fun area for the kids. They also have a pool over here. We're gonna go check that out. That would be something fun to do on your rest day. Try out all the pools at Art of Animation that they have. All right, and here is the Little Mermaid area pool. Again, really, really cute. So another area you guys can take a dip in when you're here. 
All right, we did want to time it. We walked all the way back to the main lobby area of the Art of Animation, and we timed it from the Little Mermaid Standard Rooms all the way back here. It took about four and a half minutes. Not too crazy bad at all. So basically, just expect like about a four and a half minute walk if you are staying in one of those Little Mermaid Standard Rooms to get back up towards the main lobby area. All right, well, as you can see, we have made it into the nighttime here. We wanted to try Art of Animation's quick service for you guys, so we did place a mobile order. I'll show kind of how to do that here on the screen. Um, all on the My Disney Experience app, just tap that plus hand sign in the middle and then click order food and then landscapes of flavors will come right up which is where we got some food so we hit I'm here prepare my orders so we're gonna walk over there right now and we are going to try some of the food here at Art of Animation's quick service for you okay so we just picked up our food and we ordered the big family like pizza night meal which comes with let's see eight big slices of cheese pizza you can't get pepperoni too it comes with a big tub of Caesar salad for all of you to split as well as some breadsticks for everybody now we also got some cupcakes but we'll get into those later all right well i made myself a plate with some pizza here and a breadstick i'm gonna get salad in a second they're still dishing that out but let's go ahead and give it a try that's actually really good pizza it's nice and thick so if you like thick crust it's really good for you it's perfect for just like your family to share on your rest day if you want to grab something quick to eat really good. It's not a breadstick. Pretty good too. I like it. Okay, for dessert here, we have two really delicious looking cupcakes. So this one is the mermaid's tail. This one is the cookies and cream cupcake. The mermaid's tail is a coconut butter cream with pineapple filling on the inside and a vanilla cake. So I'll have my mom try that and review that one. And then this one is just the cookies and cream cupcake, which looks and sounds really good to me. So I'm gonna get into them. All right, I cut this in half and I'm going to attempt to eat it. They have a little edible glitter on top yeah, and it's so pretty. Glitter too. I'm so excited about my glitter cupcake. Hold on a second, because I'm trying mine. This is really good. Really good flavor. I love finishing off a good Disney dinner with some sweets. Mm. And they're so good. This is the mermaid cupcake. Really good so far. It's got a white chocolate tail. And when I cut it, it has pineapple in the middle. Oh. And these are crunchy on the outside. And it also has glitter. All right, give it a taste try. Good. Mm -hmm. My cake is really spongy. And Mine too. Yeah. yeah, very spongy, moist, and it um, has real pineapples inside. That was awesome. Can I do a taste review? I like it. Too? All right, my brother wants to do a taste review. How do you like it over there? Hold on, I have Good. Okay, so overall I had a really good dinner here at Art of Animation. Like I said, at any of your resorts are going to have quick service locations, so they're perfect for um, any nights that are like your rest days or any that you may get home early from the park where you guys can head over and grab just a quick dinner. It wasn't that expensive either. All of our stuff cost like a total of like 40 bucks for like a big family pizza that um, easily fed all of us as well as breadsticks, Caesar salad, cupcakes, all that. So we got a lot of really good stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and take this vlog back outside. All right, before heading outside, actually, I wanted to show you guys the shop that's here at the Art of Animation. And it is the ink and paint shop here that we are going to go into. All right, so this is just an overview of their ink and paint shop. It's actually, like, huge. Like, they have a candy section, stuffed animal section, a whole thing dedicated to Baby Yoda or Grogu, as we now know his name. There are games over here. Um, there's cute little art of animation graphic tees you guys can get for the kids. They're actually really adorable. Like that's really, really cute. They have a cute art of animation mug. It's cute. They have a whole
whole bunch of Disney themed games here too. And actually, we got this one that we're gonna play in the room tonight. So if you guys ever have like a rest night or you guys spend a lot of evenings in the hotel room, it might be a good idea to pick up a game and to play a game with everybody in the hotel. They've got Candyland, Uno, Monopoly, Clue, just a lot of different things here. I absolutely love Wishables. I'm a little addicted to them, so I might have to be getting a few of these too. All right, well, we headed out of the store, but I just wanted to show you guys just briefly like how big the store was and all the stuff they have in it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog today from showing you guys Art of Animation. You can see it got pretty late here. It is nighttime now. Um, if you're new here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, drop us a like. It really does help us out here on the channel, help us to grow and keep our Disney vlogs going. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish with a little nighttime ambiance of Art of Animation for you guys because it looks so beautiful here right now. But until next time, guys, stay magical. Wait, why does Sally have headlights and he doesn't? You see, race cars don't need headlights because the track is always lit. <laughs> 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 Weirdo. Weirdo. Is this guy's name really Mater? Like Tuh Mater, but without the Tuh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>